the distribution of awards without going new believe increase a special action towards promotion of autonomy. We are requesting Under Secretary Renate Di Orsenio, together with Police Director General Ronald M. De La Rosa, Chief, Philippine National Police, Police Chief Superintendent Rolando Inasuncion, Deputy Director for Operations and Officer in Charge, Bureau of Corrections, and Police Chief Superintendent Benjamin M. Musa, Acting Director, Special Action Force. Citation reads, Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies the DOJ level being the official granted to Police Superintendent Lidon Domsville Monte as member of the Philippine National Police Special Action Force, Divisional Battalion composed of three first Special Action Company, 87, 85, and 35th Special Action Company at the New Believer Prison, in grateful recognition for outstanding service rendered towards keeping peace and order at the New Believer Prison and enduring commitment to the rule of law. Given the second day of December 2016, at the New Believer Prison, Mountain Lupa City, signed. Italiano and Aguirre II, Secretary, Department of Justice, Republic of the Philippines, National Police Commission, Philippine National Police Special Action Force, Compagum Iwa Bibuna Tenet City, pursuant to South Carolina Orders No. 603, dated November 21, 2016, the Italian Asanayan PNP Efficiency Medal is hereby awarded to Police Superintendent Ludon Domusdo Monte, Battalion Commander, we believe it is in position of battalion and 225 others who have demonstrated efficiency, loyalty, and dedication to duty. As members of the staff, we believe it is in facility security in provision of battalion from July 12, 2016 to November 30, 2016. Imbued with a degree of professionalism and initiative, subject persons and time effort contributed immensely to the overall success of the mission. With such notable deeds, said personnel contributed to the incredible accomplishment of the Philippine National Police Mission, thereby earning credit, honor, and prestige not only for themselves, but also the Special Action Force in particular, and the entire Philippine National Police. The command of Police Chief Superintendent Lucet, official, Dennis Edison, okay. Police Chief Superintendent, Chief Director Scott, signed, Jude Gita Borda, Police Superintendent, Officer in Charge, Administrative and Research Management Division, <laughs> Same awards are also given to Police Senior Inspector Carlo Carillon Lenosa, Company Commander, 21st Special Action Company, and 42 others. Same awards are also given to Police Senior Inspector Abraham Mitawa Kulili, Company Commander, 82nd Special Action Company, and 67 others. Same awards are also given to Police Senior Inspector Emmanuel Gonzalez Escaño, Company Commander. 33 Special Action Company and 63 others. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Same awards are also given to Police Senior Inspector Junjun Tagtagas Moore, Company Commander, 83 Special Action Company and 62 others. Congratulations to all the awardees.
Ukraine calling you the limit increases special action force position of the Taliban. Manda sa pagsalin ng katungkulan! Pagsalit! Sir, dito tayo. Salin ang katungkulan! this moment. Let us hear a message from Police Director General Ronald Marapon de la Rosa, Chief, Philippine National Police. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Music, uh, Renante Urcio. Sir? Madam. Oh, my idol. General uh, Atorne, Rony Asuncion. Approve sila dyan, oh? Oo, oo. Tinatawa mo. security to national believed prisons in the light of the necessary reforms being instituted following the discovery of the involvement of inmates in the proliferation of illegal drug trade in this facility. We deployed more than 300 of our best sub-troopers to do the job. The changing of the guards took place in July in the hope of strongly boosting security and preventing the entry of contraband and other illegal items in the prisons. Today, we take the next important step as we see the first battalion of troopers off to their next assignment and welcome the new provisional battalion of South troopers 
to take over the job as we continue to ensure security in this facility. We congratulate the outgoing clubbers for a job well done and for proving yourselves worthy of the trust and confidence of the national leadership and the public. I hope that you will continue to perform well in your next assignments and be the models of professionalism and integrity in the service. Nagpapasalamat din ang PNP sa patuloy na tiwala ng liderato ng ating bansa at ng taong bayan sa ating mga polis, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga sub troopers na muling nagpatunay ng kanilang kagitingan at katapatan bilang mga alagad ng batas. To the new battalion, the challenge for you to equal, if not surpass, the achievements, the competence, and the integrity of your predecessors. As I have said, when the first battalion assumed their duties here last July, I am with you in your loyalty, integrity, and professionalism. And I know that you are with me too. It is my fervent hope that you will not fail me and the Filipino people. The MVP is no ordinary prison facility. You will certainly be faced with the strongest temptations to corrupt you and make you give in to the demands of the prisoners, among them drug lords, murderers, and the most hardened of criminals. Do not ever allow yourselves to be bribed, whatever the circumstances may be. Do not allow yourselves to be involved in any illegal activities. Do not ever do anything to destroy the image of the PNP. At kung mayroon, kahit isa lang sa inyo na lumiis na lang ng landas, ako na mismo ang nakakaharap ninyo, makakaharap ninyo. Nagtiwala sa atin ang ating mga pangulo at ang taong bayan, huwag natin silang bigoyin. For now, our anti-gun war continues. Marami pang dapat gawin dito sa NBP upang tuluyan ang malinis ito ng illegal drugs at corruption. Marami pa tayong gagawin sa buong bansa upang maresulpa na ang problema sa droga. Ang sabi ng iba, Mahirap daw ang misyon na ito. Ngunit ang sabi ko naman, basta tayo'y nagtagaysa at walang takot sa pagsulong na kampanya ito, magtatagumpay tayo. Let me assure the national leadership and the Filipino people that your national police force will continue to render its best in serving and protecting the nations as the PNP sub-moto strongly declares by virtue and by skill we triumph. Kaya doon sa mga incoming at doon mula sa mga going napakalaki yung pasasalamat ko sa inyong ginawa dahil napakahirap yung primero. Siguro since naset na yung standard na yun, ito mapasok, wala na silang gagawin kundi i-maintain ang standard or even raise it a bar higher. Dahil nga, there were many, many attempts to discredit you. There were many attempts na siraan kayo dahil nga nahihirapan na sila sa kanilang sindikato sa loob. But because of pure pure honesty and pure integrity, hindi, hindi nila kayo nasira. Hindi nila tayo nasira. Kaya napakalaki ng pasalaman ko sa inyo. As I have said, <clears throat> during your, uh, now during the first day of your posting here, the pain piece up is the final bastion of discipline in the Philippine National Police. At kung ito'y sisirain pa ninyo, itong tiwala ng inyong Chief Philippine, itong tiwala ng inyong Presidente, 
pinumpiwala ng taong bayan na pag sinabi nila na sapyan, hindi yan mapukurap, hindi yan atras ng laban, magpapakamatayan para lang i-prove na talagay sila ay professional na polis. Kaya pag yan pa ay nasira, wala na akong may pagmamayabang pa. Wala na tayo may pagmamayabang pa. Kaya napakataas <coughs> ang expectation sa inyo. Huwag niyo itong sirain. Wala na tayong ipapasan pag kaya pa ay nasira. Kaya I would like to congratulate the outgoing battalion for a very, very splendid job, for a very job, uh, for a very well done job. Uh, wala na akong, wala na akong uh, words na masasabi to explain my happiness for your very successful stand here in uh, in uh, in BP. Kaya doon sa incoming, please continue. Alam ko naman, You will never break my heart. Dan alam ninyo, alam ninyo, alam ko, na alam ninyo, na ako'y kaisa ninyo. If you are willing to die, I am also willing to die. For the love of country. Kaya ayaw na buong natin ito sa akin. Is that clear? Yes, sir! Mas malakas pa yung sigaw ng mga babae na wala in beauty. Is that clear? Yes, sir! Okay. Maraming salamat. Again, kayo lang ang pinagmamayabang ko. Wala nang iba. Kaya huwag kayo umusin yung yabang ko. Ha? Huwag kayo umusin yung yabang ko. Sabi ko sa kanila, yung mga sap na yan, kahit na pipitin nyo ang bayat yan, hindi hindi yan tatanggap ng bribe hindi hindi na tatanggap ng suhol. Kahit na pipitin, kahit na tanggalin yung bayat ng mga tao na yan, hindi hindi na tatanggap. Ganyan, gansiplinado yung mga tao ko na yan. And I'm very proud of them. And I'm with them. And I'm with them. Maraming salamat sa inyo lang. Thank you very much, sir. Speaker, as represented by Under Secretary Renante B. Orseo of the Department of Justice. Ah, uh, kay uh, General Butosor. Uh, nasa sub commander na natin dito si uh, General Lusad, si uh, Deputy Director uh, Rolly Asuncion. Uh, gusto mag-sit in sa akin sa aking uh, criminal law review class. <laughs> Tinawag na ni General na isang abogado. Pero pwede maging abogado to. Sa ating mga kababaihan sa Bureau of Corrections, uh, ako sa inyo matatanong, ako po ang uh, head ng DOJ ng Gender Sensitivity. Kaya malapit.